So let's talk briefly about which hotel to choose and where to park. So your first thing, think about when your dad told you, hey, uh, I want to make sure that I chose a restaurant that has a lot of state patrol vehicles or police cars by it. Well, it's the same thing here. I want to choose a hotel that's got contracted people that are staying there, for example, from this work crew. Why? Because it's a big money contract to work on the roads or the railroads. And that means that these people have to be on their best behavior. You can see the cleanliness of the truck, how organized the parking is. And so those people aren't going to be creating any kind of havoc or having loud parties because they got to get to work early in the morning and they want to keep their jobs. The second part of it is that you'll see these spots between the trucks. Now that was intentional here because these are big trucks and they want to be able to move around and grab their gear. But you're going to say, hey, that looks like a great parking spot. Don't be fooled. This is what a, a, a burglar or a robber or a, a thief is going to go after first because there's high dollar value items in these trucks. So just by parking near them vicariously, you're allowing your rental vehicle or your personal vehicle to be victimized. So this is a great choice for a hotel, but I'm going to park much further away from these vehicles so I don't get victimized.